Imagine turning your website visitors into customers with just one beautifully designed landing page. Sounds exciting, right? Stay tuned because I'm about to reveal the secrets to making that happen with PageFly. A well-rounded landing page typically includes the following sections. Hero banner section, product list section, collection list, sale banner or countdown banner, testimonials, trust section, and newsletter. Let's get started. You can create a landing page from template or from scratch. I will choose to create a page from scratch and select regular page. Now we are landing on the page editor. The first section should be the hero banner. Let's go ahead to the add element icon, choose layout, and then drag and drop the first variant into the page editor. To add text on an image, you will need a background image. Choose the section, go to the styling tab, scroll to the background parameter, and add a background image. Then adjust more settings here. You can add padding to adjust the section height. Next, I will add a heading, a paragraph, and a button. Change the content of the heading. Switch to Styling tab and customize the style for heading. You can set the content color, font family, font size, and don't forget to set font weight and line height in more settings. And there you have the hero banner that can grab visitors' attention. The next section is the product list section. You can add a heading first to display the content of the product list. Navigate to add elements. Choose Shopify, then drag and drop the product list element into the page editor. In general tab below product source, I will choose custom collection and select this one. Scroll down to set up other parameters. You can choose grid layout or slideshow. I will choose slideshow layout so visitors can see more product in carousel. Next, you can adjust some more settings here, item displayed, items to scroll, item spacing, and enable display partial items. Now let's add some style to the product list. By heading to the styling tab, you can adjust the style for the entire product list or for each individual element inside it. The next section is collection list. It will showcase some collections in your page, help upsell and cross sell products in your collections. You can add the collection list element here. The general and styling configuration of this element is quite similar to the product list. So I will skip these settings. And here is an example. Creating a sense of urgency is key. The sale banner or countdown banner adds that extra nudge to encourage immediate action. You can use our pre-made section. Click on this icon and select template. From category drop-down menu, let's select sale boost and choose the one you want. All you need to do now is to change the content and image to fit with your design. Nice work. Don't forget to add testimonial section to provide social proof, assuring potential buyers that they're making the right choice. You also can use our pre-made section like the sale banner section to save time. I will give you a quick demo. The next section is Trust Badge. You can showcase trust badges, security features, or any other elements that reinforce confidence in your brand by using our content list element. PageFly content list element is designed to help you save time on styling similar items and building content boxes with pre-made variants. Similar to the two sections above, you can also utilize our pre-made section in the category of Trust Badges.
Last but certainly not least, we have the newsletter section. This is where you capture leads and build a community around your brand, keeping your audience engaged and informed. I will choose one section from our template here. All done, let's click on save and publish to check the result. You can create a custom path URL for the page by accessing page setting here. For regular page, please note that when you publish it, it will not automatically show on your online store. You can link the page to Shopify menu navigation. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the video linked in the description below. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. Thanks for watching.